Hello. Well, I'm here in uh, Florida, as I uh, mentioned in the last video, and uh, yesterday, uh, which was Sunday, the uh, 19th, uh, 9th, September 19th, uh, I saw Citizen Kane on the big screen, and uh, you know I've seen it before. I actually talked about it <coughs> on this channel before, and. Uh, yeah, uh, still a great movie, uh, fantastic, and uh, yeah, seeing it on the big screen was great. It was uh, fantastic. Uh, There's a good amount of audience, uh, people there in the audience, uh, a little bigger than uh, usually. I did see it uh, in the evening, so that probably also had something to do with it. Um, and yeah, it, it was a fantastic. Uh, experience you know, you know seeing uh, all these movies on the big screen I'm able to is always f uh, fun and great um, it's really in uh, incredible to watch uh, the uh, the film uh, you know has always held up well every time I rewatched it and it still does now um, it's always cool in the beginning before the movie starts they have these like little questions and see if you know the answers to like like which film you know beat Citizen Kane for best picture and they have the other nominees and of course the answer is uh, How Green Is My Valley which is a very good film but not at all better than Citizen Kane um, there's also the Maltese Falcon which would have been very good but uh, yeah uh, ben Mankiewicz, who was a host of, uh, of uh, TCM, Turner Classic Movies, he uh, uh, had an introduction and an outro, bookending the movie, and uh, talked about some interesting stuff, uh, like how William Randolph first did everything he could to try and make sure nobody could ever watch Citizen Kane, and how... Uh, you know, if it wasn't for uh, Hearst, it's likely the film would have won more than the one Academy Award it received, like, you know, for best screenplay. Uh, it's quite likely that he, uh, Wells could have won best uh, actor, you know, uh, among many others. Um, but, you know, regardless, you know, it's you know, Citizen Kane is one of those that's like, you know, even though it didn't win huge major Oscars behind just one, you know, it didn't win the top prizes of uh, picture and director and actor. Uh, it's still one of the, seen as one of the very best films of all time. Uh, of course, you can tell why that is when watching it. Um, you know, it did so many things with the editing and the storytelling and the cinematography and all these things, you know, uh, which at the time was like, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. Orson Welles didn't know you couldn't do this or that, but he did so many things because he didn't know. He, this was the first time he was directing an actual, you know, film. And uh, the performances are excellent. The, uh, again, you know, I've talked about this before, but, you know, it's fantastic movie um, and it's uh, uh, Citizen Kane will be in the Criterion Collection again in uh, November you know it will uh, be in 4k also 4k and normal blu-ray though of course you know the cover has been a big talking point you know just the K and I think that you know I guess that you know I understand the simplistic nature of it and that's fine but to the average person who might not know much about Citizen Kane, who may never have seen it, they might not really look too closely at it. They just might glance at it if they're uh, like in Barnes & Noble, which sells Criterion films, or maybe something was suggested to them online somewhere. And some Criterion films were there, and they just see K, because that's what it is, just the K. It's the, you know... Um, the uh, title of the uh, film at the beginning, you know, Citizen Kane says K, and that's basically what it is, is on the cover, and then on the side it says, you know, like Citizen Kane, then 
Orson Welles. But if they don't, I think it would have been better if they had just like a poster art of sorts. Like one of the older po uh, posters of uh, when a film came out. I think that would have been very good. And also I think that the film, if, uh, you know, they... they at least had Orson Welles' face on it, that probably would have been a better indication, like maybe half it when he's young and half when he's old, but you know it's Orson Welles still, you know, that would have been, you know, uh, preferred. Um, also, apologies for the traffic, uh, I'm outside because, you know, it's, it's fairly nice out though, it's shaded around here, might not want to need my hat, but sometimes, you know, the shade can sometimes just disappear around here fairly quickly so on the off chance that happens though of course it doesn't seem like it will right now but yeah uh, great film great to see on the big screen um, yeah this film is uh, regarded as one of the very best and seeing it on the big screen uh, I'm able to see why even more uh, than before you know I already knew and could see why it's one of the very best and why AFI ranks it as number one the number one film of all time and so many other uh, like polls with film like big major industry film stuff you know they often rank that as number one or close to number one um, but yeah uh, this is a. Uh, this was fun to see it on the big screen. Um, you know, of course, earlier I talked a bit about Mank in the other video and uh, Citizen Kane. Um, which is not at all. Obviously, you know, Mank is not a bad film at all. But uh, some stuff that, uh, in the terms of accuracy, with Herman Mankiewicz as well as some of the stuff with the writing of Citizen Kane. I kind of just wanted to talk about uh, before just sort of just discussing Citizen Kane again a bit, you know, and seeing it on the big screen. And um, have you been able to see it on the big screen before? Um, you know, this is the 80th anniversary of the film, um, which is another cool reason why you know Criterion is able to release the film again um, for its uh, 80th anniversary. I was always, often wondering if they were, and if so, when. Many people thought it would be great if they did so for the thousandth uh, spine number, but they didn't. It was that Godzilla set, which I don't have, but you know it looks cool. I know there are people who have it, and that's fantastic. Um, but yeah, um, what else to say? Um, Citizen Kane, of course, is excellent. Again, it's fantastic. Uh, I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but you know, seeing movies like this on the big screen is really cool because uh, you know I think it gives a better, big, bigger, imp uh, better, I mean bigger, I guess, uh, enjoyment of the film, and you can see why certain movies are incredible and why you know there are certain films that deserve to be seen on the bi on the big screen at least once in your life if you really like something you know I've seen uh, the Shawshank Redemption I've seen uh, Fargo uh, the Silence of the Lambs a few times Scream Jaws a few times uh, I've seen many classic films on the big screen uh, the Ten Commandments uh, Ben-Hur um, the Maltese Falcon also earlier this year same with Fargo um, and I plan to see some of the horror films in the coming next month uh, Silence of the Lambs, again, I would like to see um, in some of the universal horror monster movies like Dracula and Frankenstein double feature at the beginning of October uh, and at the end of October, uh, uh, The Invisible Man and The Wolfman. You know, that'd be cool to see all those. And there's also like Scream and Carrie, Evil Dead for their anniversaries. Um, I don't know if I'll get to see any of those. Um, but it would be cool if I could see another one of those, but, you know, I'm 
or next month at least, I'm going to look at uh, seeing the Universal Monster films for sure, as well as um, uh, uh, yeah, the Silence of the Lambs. Uh, I think those will be uh, great movies to see on the big screen for like the first time, as well as Signs of the Limbs again. Uh, so yeah, seeing Citizen Kane in the theater gave me a better appreciation for the film, gave the uh, impression of how just important it is, even more so than before, and uh, yeah, great movie. Uh, so what do you think about Citizen Kane, if you've seen it? Um, do you enjoy it? Do you dislike it? Um, why, why not? Uh, all that stuff, uh, of course. You can leave in the comments section, um, or you don't have to. But, uh, yeah, it was fun to see on the big screen. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're all having a, hope your weekend will be great and you'll all have a great week. I'll see you all next time. Bye.